Welcome to Game Make Corp, a bi-weekly podcast where we reach into the Imagisphere and pull out the next great video game idea. I am the CEO of Game Make Corp, Bryce. And I'm the CEO of Game Make Corp, Beckers. Last time on this very podcast, we made Curse You. How'd that do? Um, it started a new craze, a new fad. Now everybody says Curse You in real life when people sneeze. And it has furthered the divide, the divide between um, the young people and the boomers. So, World War Three. At some point, I feel like we should make a game about boomers. That. <laughs> well, it's it's too bad. It's too uh, late for this episode. Okay. It's, it's over. Um <laughs> You know what? It's not too late for you to submit a game to this podcast for us to use. All you have to do is go to twitter.com and type in the words What if you made a game about boomers, but you have to stop them from exploding because if <laughs> they eat eat too many tacos, they get full of gas and pop gross also that's not that's a different kind of boomer don't be so silly okay shake my Uh, head but if you just tweet those words that won't do anything we'll never see it so you have to include the hashtag game corp and then we'll see it (laughs) do you think there's anybody out there who has just been like tweeting hilarious game ideas just hoping we'd find it without including that (laughs) there must be that's That's probably why we don't get any game ideas yeah (laughs) they forget (laughs) the hashtags Yep. Oops. Oops, guys. You've been forgetting the hashtags. <laughs> um. Oh, mystery solved. Okay, backers. We've made a lot of games, but I want Have us we? to look towards the future of games. Um, yes. And I think the future is the VR space. I mean, they got all those headsets. They got the 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 Vive. They've got the Oculus in the quests. They've got the the index. They've got the MVR. They're all out there. They've got the Labo that you can do with the Switch. Yeah, I almost forgot about that one. That's you could take yeah. some cardboard and slap that on your face, and now you're in VR. Heck uh, yeah. Now, now it's our time to jump on the fad and make a VR. So all of the games our vr this time okay themed episode themed episode surprise you should be watching this in vr to properly get enjoy it if that doesn't we'll work for you to for you to do that if that doesn't work just put glasses and pretend they're f- virtual on your face but Be- becca do you have a game idea yeah, I do. <laughs> you know, you could you could just start going into it without me. <laughs> just... You seemed like you had a really good idea going. Did, I just, did it? I just wanted is that what to... is that the feeling you were getting from the words I, just, I was saying? <laughs> yes, I thought it sounded all very very good, so I wanted you to keep doing what you were doing. Should Should we go back? Should I keep talking about the thing that I was saying? No, because your rhythm's broken. Now, okay, so. so you wanted to. Take it from here? Yeah, I'll, I'll take it from here. Okay. Um, My game idea, it, I think it would be cool. Okay, so this is inspired from a Reddit post that I saw, as a lot of ideas are. Um, They have VR attachments now where it can read your face and put your facial expressions. And, like, if you stick your tongue out and your eye movements and stuff, all of that can be on your VR character. Mm-hmm. That exists now. Yes. The future is here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, you can do that now. I'm going to make a game that requires that because right now I think it's only available for like those VR chat rooms or whatever. Okay. So this game. Yes. You're going to be a spy Mm. of some kind. You're going to be incognito. That's the game. That's the game. It's going to be called incognito. Now we know the game name out going, going from the beginning. Okay, well, we can change it if 
depending on what happens here. Okay. So it's a game where you gotta be incognito. Yeah, so I think that you are undercover. Maybe you're mm-hmm. an alien. Okay. Hiding hiding amongst a different alien species. Okay, you're a human <laughs> hiding amongst aliens. Okay. Um what, wearing what, an alien costume. What do the aliens look like? Really, really super like normal. Like humans, <laughs> except they were like blue or something. Something where they, they have the same face to okay. make sense for the software. Okay. They're humanoid, like Star Trek aliens, how they're all like human, but with one thing different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, these ones are like blue. So you have to. So it's it's Blue Man Group. Sure. Blue Man Group you is aliens. Are, you're, you're, you're on Beckers, an alien planet. Beckers, you need to say the words the Blue Man Group are aliens. Blue Man Group are aliens. I thought this was, like, established. I, I just need to hear you say it so that we have it documented. You're an alien. So you go to space. You, the game starts. You're on this alien planet, and you need to get back home to Earth because, um, that's where you all, know, you're... That's where all yeah. your tacos are. And on this planet, humans are, like, most dangerous game type cattle sort of thing. Like, they're they're just for fun. Like, they hunt <laughs> humans. They consider them to humans. be sub. Humans, just for fun now. <laughs> <laughs> so, humans, so like, just for fun. <laughs> Yeah, so they're just for fun. So, like, they, they hunt them for fun, for sport, oh. or whatever, and they don't think humans are people. Um, but for simplicity's sake, they're about the same intelligence level as humans. Okay. Maybe they're ahead in technology, and that's why you need to use their spaceship to get home, and why we haven't seen this planet before, because it's current times. Um, mm-hmm. So you dress up like these aliens, and you're kind of like sweating it out because if anyone finds you finds you out, they're gonna be like, "Oh, a human! I'm gonna shoot him and eat him for dinner," you know. Um, so, so, so so it's to serve man. Yeah. You know you, the the twi- twi- zone. There was they found it was aliens, and they found a book, and it said to serve man, and they're like, "Oh man, they're here to help," because that's the words, but really. You know, just because you serve food. Yeah, that's an, a reference that I'm sure most people will have, you know, related to. Yeah. Um, our our audience is the Twilight. It's Gaming Corp, Twilight Zone, same circle. Yeah, it's not a Venn diagram. It's a circle. <laughs> <laughs> the Venn diagram is a circle. Excuse me. Yes. Um, misspoke there. So... So the thing is, even on this alien world, the kind of spaceships that need to get to Earth aren't available to everyday citizens. So you have to find a way to infiltrate the government and get aboard a spacecraft that's going to Earth in order to get home. So you have to be like a spy. Okay. And you have to beat up a different alien and take like his badge into the the government place and I'm, ex- you- I'm excited to know where the like the fact that the vr headset can see that my brow is wrinkled is is going to come in heavy to this whole thing it's coming it's coming it's coming because you have to lie the whole time mm. and you have to be convincing so if you like mm-hmm. if you don't look convincing on your face they'll they'll catch you And also, the aliens, Mm -hmm. they make a lot of really weird facial expressions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to learn that culture. And and, and then you also fall in love. What? Is this a requirement? Is this... (laughs) What? You don't know that it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. Oh, okay. With who? Uh, There's like a... To different gender options. You can pick a, a dude or a chick. Um, and they're both really hot aliens. 
Do they, do they, are, okay. They're government workers because to infiltrate the government, you have to apply for, well. Do you have proper paperwork? Yeah, because you beat up a, a different government worker and you took it. Okay, and what, what happened to them? They're dead. Okay, and do do you have to find someone who looks like you? Yeah, but is it, well, that's not okay. going to be hard. Step one, I think I think we need to address this out the gate. They're blue, right? Yeah. You, not blue. Yeah. How? You dye your skin. Oh, uh, how? There's plants. There's plants. And you roll in them. Mm. Like a dog rolling in poop. Dogs roll in poop to hide their scent. You roll in poop to hide your skin. Is the twist ending going to be, it turns out that they're also humans. They just, everybody rolls around in the stuff. Oh, God, that would actually be so fucking great. <laughs> Beckers. And it's Beckers, like Truman Show. Open your mind with me. Beckers, what if the game ends <laughs> with it being everybody is trying to get onto this spaceship because they all think they're on an alien world? <laughs> They've all died, rolled around in the shit. All and all the players <laughs> keep beating each other up and taking each other's identities. <laughs> they're, all, they're all humans trying to get onto the spaceship. And if you succeed and finally get back to Earth, everyone collapses and fills you in on the story and they tell you that this is actually like the new Darwinism. This is how they thin out the weak. Or, or you go, you fly away back to what you think is Earth, but it turns out you actually end up on an alien planet because you're already on Earth. And then there was a, you find a buried blue statue of Liberty. Yep. It's already like bluish. It's yep. green, but okay. Yeah. Do you have a game idea? Um. I have a game idea, which was submitted <laughs> by Polaris Gears on Reddit. Now, I know what you're thinking. Did he submit it on reddit.com slash rgamemakecorp? No, he did not. Where did he submit it? I'll never <laughs> tell. Polaris Gears knows what he did, and I'll never reveal his secrets. <laughs> 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 but you can submit game ideas at reddit.com slash r slash gamemakecorp. That like is a, such a weird... Thing for you to say just everything that you just said Good. is very weird i they said the words a game where you create situations <laughs> that will hopefully distract your friend from the fact that you have eaten his sandwich <laughs> uh, so weird okay i think i think this is gonna work best if it's like your roommate Okay. Or, yeah. Sure. Or or would it be better? Hmm. I was trying to wonder mm -hmm. if maybe it would be better if like you're over at somebody's house and, and you're you, you eat their sandwich ooh. and you have to distract them long enough to get out without them suspecting it was you. Yeah. And it would be really suspicious. You are like a, a service worker, like a cable guy or <laughs> a plumber. Some some reason, like you, you're in going into their house for a period of time, mm. and you have a task to do. And if you leave too fast, it's gonna be really suspicious. Yeah, we gotta we gotta make them. I think I think ideally, you make them think that they ate their sandwich. You gaslight them into making them think they ate their own sandwich. Can you just like This is messed up. I I want to make it clear. I did not say the words that she just did. She's the one who said those words. You, you just, just said the definition. I'm just suggesting that he believes he ate his own sandwich. <laughs> You're messing with his mind. Maybe Maybe you take some some breadcrumbs and just kind of like like be like look over there and then and then you just like scrape out and be like Oh, sorry. I thought there was a bug on your face, and then you you put uh, sprinkle some bread crumbs on his his face. What so if the dude like doesn't care? Like the sandwich is missing, and he's like, huh? <laughs> he just doesn't care. 
then then that's fine, but you don't know that going in. <laughs> Next round. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out this guy didn't care. Uh, this was actually fine. That was the easy one. Yeah. But you don't know. Like, you never get that guy. That's like one in a million shot. Yeah. I mean, so you, and, that's just there so that once in a while you go through all of the work <laughs> just to find out it was pointless. Everyone loves that. In but, the games. A, but occasionally you get a guy who's like, this is my, my mom made me this special sandwich and I. Before she died yeah. this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, <laughs> I just wanted one last taste. <laughs> of the um, sandwich yeah. that I'm never going to have ever <laughs> Because and he's like, there's no way you're going to convince me I hate this. <laughs> Ever. you got to really distract this man. Yeah, I feel bad for him right now. I feel like a jerk. <laughs> to be fair, I feel like he would already be distracted by, you know, things going on. But maybe that would just distract Yeah, just, just keep bringing up his <laughs> dead mom. <laughs> While you're there so that he's trying so hard he can't see through the tears. <laughs> That his sandwich is gone. <laughs> Am I a bad person? Yeah, 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 you are. Um, <laughs> this isn't a new development. This is just a development. Um, okay. <laughs> so, that, you could definitely try and make them believe that they ate their own sandwich. I think I think that's not, that could sort of work because like you've totally eaten a sandwich and then been hungry and been like, oh man, it feels like I didn't really eat anything, but you did eat the sandwich. Right. So if you were hungry later, I don't think the first thing would be like, I did not, I didn't eat a sandwich. It must have been the cable guy. I have <laughs> yes. to kill him. <laughs> That's there's like happened. a if the, there's like a two percent chance that if he finds out the truth, he just kills you. I mean. <laughs> Really, no matter if they f- if they find out you lose the game, does it really matter if the game ends with a That's murder? True. That's true. But we're gonna put cutscenes at the end, just okay. like for fun. Yeah, you know, we, we've got to see how this, uh, how your decision to gaslight this person has uh, mm. has has affected them <laughs> and you and the world all together. Maybe, maybe. This was a Secret Service uh, man, and now he is very distraught about his mother's sandwich, and now he's not going to be able to fly Air Force One to Canada. And he ends up on an alien planet, (laughs) and he has to blend in. (laughs) Yes. And that's how we will advertise... The other game. The other one. Well, so we'll have to release this one first. Can I? You're right. (laughs) Beckers. I forgot to mention it when we were talking about the last one, but can we name the other one humans just for fun? Yeah. Okay. I'll let you I'll let you name one. Okay, cool. Um (laughs) Was there anything else that we can say about this? Because I think we Said I, I think at the end of the game we yeah. should put because you said like um you find out what happens to them or whatever yeah and sometimes you win the game but like morally you feel bad because you find out that they were so sad about their sandwich that something terrible happened to them i mean i th- see i think that like when if you win they don't get sad about their sandwich they never even like think about their sandwich I think there's levels of victory. Because, like, maybe... maybe I think that's the best victory. Beckers, but sometimes... If you had a dope-ass sandwich in the fridge waiting for you, but you won the lottery, how long is it going to take you to remember that about that sandwich? I'd never forget a sandwich. You know, like, some people never forget a face? Mm-hmm. I never forget a sandwich. Okay, but like I can I can remember you, but it could take me a little bit. I never forget a sandwich. You immediately remember a sandwich. You're always thinking about sandwiches. The yeah. specific sandwich, knowing whether okay, or not you're okay, eating it okay. or not. In one scenario, mm-hmm. you bring a lottery ticket with you. Yes. And you give it to them. Mm-hmm. 
And when you take their sandwich, then you give them the lottery ticket and they win. And then you also win because you get the sandwich and mm. that's all you care about. So this is still a happy ending for you. Yes. Um, that's like the best outcome. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, do you know it's a winning sandwich going in? A winning not- sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> what if the sandwich is bad, Beckers? What if the sandwich oh, no. is bad? <laughs> what if there's like mold on the bread? I, I was going to eat a sandwich earlier today, Beckers, and I opened the the beef and the beet or the, the chicken the meat. The word was meat. <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> the meat was bad. It had mold on it. What if that's the sandwich? What if it's that one that I almost ate earlier before I noticed there was mold? We had to throw away all the meat in the fridge because any of it could have been mold. Then there's nothing you can do, but in that outcome, you die no matter what happens. So. Either, yeah. Either they catch you and they shoot you because they were really attached to that sandwich. That's okay. why it got moldy. They kept it for so long. Okay. Okay. So here's the deal. Because they, they thought you, that that sandwich was their brother. Do you want to distract them before you go for the sandwich or... Do you want to quickly eat the sandwich and then work on distracting them? Like, do you want um, to go like, hey, let's go watch this big sports game so you can dip into the the fridge? Well, and, the uh, easiest way to do it probably is if you are done installing their cable box or whatever and you're just about the end and then you just swipe the sandwich and run, right? That's okay. probably the easiest way because you but, make it out I think and I think if you he don't have notices, to like run <laughs> if he notices you have the sandwich, you lose. If his cone of vision sees you with a sandwich or his mind p- pieces it together that you you were the person, then you lose. Just like uh, screen fades to black and the words just come up, he knows. He doesn't <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't have to stab you. He just knows that you betrayed him. <laughs> you have to keep him from okay. ever finding out. Okay, okay, hey, re- revi- uh, revised. Mm-hmm. Let me re- re- re-speak this. Yes. The best, easiest outcome is probably if you steal the sandwich at the very end and you just say, like, hey, I'm going to go grab a glass of water. And he stays looking at his brand new cable box. And then you just take the sandwich and shove it in your pants and then walk out the door. Because then you don't have to distract him, right? So I think there needs to be some kind of hunger level or something when you get there where you have to steal the sandwich in a certain amount of time. You can't just wait till the end every time. And that would add some variety to the gameplay. Could you offer to make him a sandwich and then make him a sandwich and then eat his? I feel like if you make a sandwich, it, you're breaking the game. <laughs> it's, Beckers, you have played VR. You can do anything in VR. I actually forgot this was VR at this point. No, it's all in VR. <laughs> I think the great thing about this is that you have to actually, with your physical hands, shove the sandwich into your real-life mouth. Which also, I, which is the great game come with because a sandwich? How, how you eat the sandwich is part of the game. Do you do you eat a little <sighs> bit? Do you are you gonna make, just shove it in there? What like at all at once? Take little <laughs> nibbles, little nibbles, so he doesn't hear. How are you gonna eat it? it could be anything. It's VR. Anything can happen in there. <laughs> Beggars, throw a name on this real quick while I uh, while I prepare our next uh, uh, sentence. Okay. I'm trying to think of something like Hamburglar, but with a sandwich. <laughs> Sam Burglar. Maybe we should just call it baloney. <laughs> <laughs> but we should call it full of baloney. Because both both you both you are full of baloney because of the sandwich you ate, plus you were telling them lies <laughs> because you're full of baloney. Okay, that's good. But I came up with the baloney part and you don't 
<laughs> That's me. That's trademarked. We'll see. We'll see what happens with there. But TM. I think at the end of the day, what really matters is that our investors support this show like you can by going to patreon.com slash last geek. Did you know that we have great and powerful investors of this company that live on the very tippy top of the Game Eight Corp skyscraper? I mean, they don't live there, but they live in our hearts and we live up there. So vis-a-vis, they live there. Hey, investors, Aaron C. and Alex Weber. Thank you. You knew it, that you're amazing. I knew it. And also Beckers did, I think. Probably not. Who knows? I know everything. Yep. Uh, Thank you for supporting the show, supporting the company, and living in our hearts at the tippy top of the skyscraper. (laughs) Support the show at patreon.com slash lastgeek. Beckers, do you have a game idea? I do. This is one of the best ideas I have ever had. Mm. Do you remember the mobile game Flappy Bird that was really, really huge? Yeah. Um, like uh, ten years ago, almost. <laughs> Holy shit! Actually, you know, like, wow. Are you looking at? Sorry, up? the 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 reality of my age just hit me. <laughs> Should I look up how old it is? Twenty thirteen. Seven years ago. Seven that years when, ago. That was when Flappy Bird peaked. That was when it was released. That was when it was released, and it peaked shortly thereafter. Yes. Because it's a mobile game, and that's what they do. Mm-hmm. What, wow. what, what about Flappy Bird spoke to you? Oh, sorry. I forgot where I was going with this. So Flappy Bird. <laughs> Becker just like realized her mortality for a moment there through Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird <laughs> just made her realize that she was slowly walking towards the grave. Bro, quit it. <laughs> uh, this is why it's rude to bring up a lady's age. Um, yeah. So anyways. Flappy Bird. I think it would be really cool if we made Flappy Bird in VR. Mm-hmm. So for those for those who don't know, I should explain what Flappy Bird is somehow. I guess. Yeah. You're a little. You're a. It's a mobile game. It's uh-huh. a touch screen thing. Yeah. And like, there's pillars and stuff to pipes. get around. It's pipes. You're. It looks pipes. like you're Mario a, Mario pipes. Remember? Yeah, you're a little bird, and you just tap. Every time you tap, the bird goes up a little higher, and when you stop tapping, it drops. And that's it. You go around the pipes and you go for as long as you can. That's Flappy Bird. So you, so I think in VR it's going to be like a fitness game. Mm. And in order to fly, you have to flap your arms mm-hmm. in the air out next to you. And yep. then stop to fall. And it's going to be like the pipes are coming at you. So you're going to flap, 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 fall. You know it's gonna it's gonna be sick. Actually, I think this would be a really fun game. <laughs> Bryce looks like he's looking something up, so I feel like he's about to tell me it exists. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drop a link to you in Discord, <sighs> and uh, there you go. No, you're fucking kidding me. There you go. You gotta be shitting me. No way. Uh, you're now looking at Flappy Bird <laughs> VR with 100% more flap available on Steam for $3. What What would you like to say now? I'm actually in shock. <laughs> the... <laughs> I think we have to stop the podcast, like, in general. There's too many games out there. (laughs) I can't fucking believe it. I didn't, I didn't cheat. Like, I thought of this. And it exists. The brilliant idea of, what if you took Flappy Bird and put it in VR? Like, that never could have, no one else could have come up with. You're right. But someone did, and that's why it's so amazing. I... (laughs) 
Well, I'm done. Your turn. Okay. <laughs> because... Wow. I'm so depressed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Flappy Bird once again has broken Becker's. First with realizing her mortality and now realizing with the fact that she has no original ideas. <laughs> I miss playing Flappy Bird. Well, now you can play it in VR. Apparently. That's the worst. Is that get, <laughs> is that going to be our next Let's Play? Is competitive Flappy Bird VR? Okay. Beckers, I have a video game idea for you. Are you sure someone else hasn't already done it? Yes. Did, did you did you look it up? Oh, hold on. Let me let me just I'll I'll <laughs> check that real quick. You know, uh, let me see. Necro. I I probably should. Hold on. Let me type it out and then I'll say the words. I'm gonna need you to finish what you're saying. Okay. Necro. What exactly? Uh, I have Googled the words necromancy to impress your friends VR. And uh, weirdly, no. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Ten, ten apps to hang out with your friends in VR. <laughs> because they're dead. <laughs> you need to necromancy them. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro, that's, a- that's probably the future. Upload upload people who died into VR so you can hang out. I'm pretty sure there's a show about that. There's like at least three episodes of Black Mirror about that. Yeah. Beckers, have you ever wanted to impress people? No, I do it naturally. Okay. Sometimes there's times where people want to impress people. And, mm. okay, have you ever seen the, the movie The House with the Clock in Its Walls? No. <laughs> Well, I have because I was I was messaged once and told that the kid in it was me. So I was like, well, I have to watch this to see what that means. And as far as I can tell, it means that I will do necromancy to impress people because that is what the <laughs> this is the spoilers for the movie. <laughs> I should have said that beforehand, but hey guys, this is spoilers for the clock with the house in its walls. Uh, House with the clock in its walls. Gosh, that I didn't make, even watch that it. That doesn't make any sense. Well, houses have clocks all the time. That's not a special thing. In its walls. It's not that hard. That's to- not normal. That's that's different mm. than normal. It doesn't seem that hard to achieve. Okay, well. Anyway. Bleh. The So to impress, the kid moves to town. I forget why he's here. He's here, here for his uncle. And he he wants to impress his school friend, and he's like, "Hey, I know how to get you excited about me as a person." What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's God, go. Your language needs work. Oh, I should teach classes about how to do it good because I'm be- the best. No. Okay, so. I'm going to get people excited about me as a person that they're, I'm going to take them to the graveyard and I'm going to bring up the person in this tomb with this cool book that I found. That's really what this movie's about. The, it's, it happens in the movie. The, That's it's bizarre. Made, it's made, like, there's a lot of things that happen in this movie and I, I mean, this this thing that this kid does is important to the plot because he probably shouldn't have. I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know why that was the thing that he like. I think the kid's learning magic, and literally any freaking thing he he could float a book, and the kid would have been like, "Man, that's cool as heck." Uh oh, you can you can make sparkles? Man, that's dope. But no, I know what'll get you going. I know Raise the Dead. <laughs> Raise the Dead. <laughs> because honestly, that's not a bad plan. Because if the kid isn't impressed, maybe the zombie's down to be your friend. That's true. You got a backup. You got a backup you, friend. Either, either what if way, the zombie really, really doesn't want to be friends though? <laughs> that's I mean, technically... That's a problem for future you, (laughs) am I right? Hopefully you come out of that situation with at least one friend, because maybe the zombie's your friend, or maybe the kid's impressed and can help you fight the zombie. If you come out of the situation with zero friends, 
like the kid in the movie, that's where things go bad. And you have to do all of this in VR. So oh, I thought you I don't know why, but I thought you were gonna say naked. <laughs> why? I don't know. It just makes sense, doesn't it? No. Maybe not. But maybe it does. What however you want to play VR, that's up to you. We're not gonna <laughs> we're, we're, we only have face scanning technology. Anything below oh. the waist is your own business. <laughs> Bro, I hope that they never are able to scan more than that. I don't want them to. <laughs> what? I don't know. Anyway. I mean, try, the government's already watching our phones. Imagine if they're watching our butts. <laughs> then they'd see I've got a nice badonka donk. Llama llama, your balanka dama ding dong. That was nothing. You're nothing. Okay. So, Don't forget it. <laughs> so, I think, A, you need to, I guess, pilfer pilfer your uncle's spell book to learn to do the cool stuff. Say the cool words in there that say, Don't read this, you dumb, dumb kid. And then, I think, okay, you need to... I think to really impress them, you need to go to the graveyard and find the dopest motherfucker in there. Whoa. Yeah, I said a swear. Yeah. It can be bleeped. It'll be fine. Um, but we won't, though. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. I can't remember if we're, we're mature or not. I mean, like, you and me aren't, but I can't re- tell if the podcast <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I know we're not mature, but in yeah. general. As our listeners. Um, Beckers, did, should we say anything else or should we just go with the sandwich game? Let's go with the... Wait, what? I don't I don't feel yeah, like I, anything's happening right. with this necromancy thing. I said I, I said a lot of things about the movie, the, like movie. the house with the clock in its walls, and that was about it. This is definitely the... This- Full of baloney game. Yeah, full of baloney. I think this is that was that had a whole thing to it. And hey, did you guys know that that was submitted? Uh, that was a user submitted one. So maybe if you submit games, they'll be the best one because you guys are better. You than too us. could have it in you to be a great game maker. Yep. Because <laughs> if we can do it, you sure as hell can. <laughs> That should be our. We need to get a, a new poster that just says that Game A Corp. If we can't do it, you sure as hell can. Bro, we gotta talk marketing after the podcast. This is serious. Um. Okay. So, full of baloney. Named by me. <laughs> uh, what? Yep. God, you're T- full of baloney. TM. 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 No. 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 I already TM'd it. God. Little does she know that I ate her sandwich. Anyway, uh, Beckers, where where can people find you? Right behind you. <gasps> you can follow me on Twitter at Last Geek. You can follow me at YouTube at Last Geek Plays. You can follow me at twitch.tv slash Last Geek Plays. Also, I need to talk to you guys. Hi. You can also follow him from a relatively short distance because he's not very observant. Hi. I have one more thing to tell you, and it's about Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, we have played Dungeons and Dragons, and we are going to let you listen to it because we have recorded a adventure that we have done. Both me, Beckers, the hosts of of the podcast race at Gamecast, Teddy Chineris, uh, Picklish Matt, uh, Darian wasn't there this time. But also, the video editor of Last Geek did join us for the first time on a Last Geek product. And uh, we all played Dungeons and Dragons for a cool adventure. I played the half orc ranger, uh, Fergus Bog. Beckers played a bear. Yes, a Just, bear. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's it's uh, real cool. Uh, we'll be releasing the. Uh, there's three parts to it. We'll be releasing them on youtube.com slash last geek. And we'll be releasing them on podcasts under the name uh, Dungeons and Gamers. That name might change eventually, but right now that's what you can uh, search for. 
and you should check them out uh, if you want to hear some more stuff from us. And we'll be continuing those uh, characters and stuff in future uh, adventures. Uh, so st- stay tuned for that. Um, that's about it. Oh, uh, so that's going to be going up for Patreons, uh, Patreon supporters at the first of the month and then for everybody else later. Uh, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be real dope. And that is all I have to say about cool stuff like that. So, Beckers, hit it. Did you hear that? Yes. I hit my desk. Thanks for listening to Game Mate Corp. And remember, suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, have fun. Ha, ha, ha.